joining us for our art lesson. Today we're going to be showing you how you can create paint with shaving cream. And it's going to create a fluffy art that's different than the kids have ever experienced. So the first thing you want to do is gather your materials and what, uh, what color paints you're going to make. So we're making my staff's favorite colors. Purple for Miss Julie, red for Miss Drika, and brown for me. Um, so first you want to put your shaving cream in your bowl of any kind. We're using small takeout plates so we can actually close it and move it from one table to the next. After you put your desired amount of shaving cream, you're then going to add drips of the paint. So we're going to do red. I already did purple. So the more color and mixing you do, the darker you can get it. So we got a pretty light shade, shade of violet. And we're going to do red now. So you just add the paint into it and we're going to mix it. And if you do it with the kids, it's an opportunity to talk to them about what's happening. Um, so they see the paint is mixing in what's happening to the white color. It's changing. What changes do you see? How do you think this smells? Hmm, smells like shaving cream. So we don't eat shaving cream, so we can take the opportunity to talk about safety measures and why we don't eat it. Um, and also to talk about the part on here that says it's a toxic um, chemical, so we don't ingest it. What does ingest mean? So we're building the vocabulary. So you're going to mix it till you get your color through. And again, the more red I add, the darker shade I can get it. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. Just to show you, you can see it's just slightly more darker. So if you want to get it really, really dark, you got to add a lot more paint to it. It's going to take more paint to get it to a shade darker than where you want it. So we have purple, we have red, and now let's make brown. And then we're going to create our own pictures. I'm going to show our parents how creative the staff is. So we're going to add our shaving cream. Oops. Hot fudge. It does look like hot fudge. So that's another thing you can ask them. What does it look like? It looks like a flower. What does this one look like? The fire breathing dragon. And then what does this one look like? It looks like hot fudge Sunday. So creating imaginative play and connections will also help you create a real world connection. Well, have you eaten ice cream with mommy? When do you add chocolate syrup to something? So we're gonna keep mixing, keep mixing. And one thing you wanna keep in mind is at the bottom, you'll see the paint. So you wanna make sure that you're scraping the bottom and stirring so that you can pick up the paint that's at the bottom of the container. Okay. So now we got our paints and our desired shades. We're gonna pause our video and get our teacher set up to do art. Thank you. All right, so now we made our art, our paint. It's the fluffy paint. So now we're gonna create our own pictures. So I'm gonna use red first. Ew, I don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna use brown first. So what do you guys smell as you paint? What's the thing called? It's my sage in the bathroom. The I like body, like body wash What? <laughs> okay. No, no. Okay. And what do you notice as you're painting? What is the paint? Is it like your typical paint? Like how do you feel it when you're using it? Smooth. It's smoother? Okay. A little thicker. Much thicker, right? Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is when you create your picture, go back and do like this. So they're going to dab it so that it can create a puff to it and you can make it rise. Because this is a great way to create 3D art. And that's one way to get that fluff to your picture. So I made a peanut. Like my peanut. That's nice. Thank you. I just made a box. You made a box? <laughs> yeah. Well, who's going to live in the box? Oh, this is a box. <laughs> a box. Yeah, I'm going to put it right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dab it. You can dab it, yeah. So I make it. To fluff to it, yeah. Because if you do the swiping, you can create a paint. Or a paint with, um, like, elevated. Don't put it on, on the paper. You see how it's not directly on the paper? Mm -hmm. It's 
So while you're doing this, you want to talk to the kids, ask them how they feel, what made them choose. Julie, why are you putting brown in your box now? No. You don't know. Well, that's why some great ideas come in life. They don't know why they do certain things. I don't know why. What do y'all, what's mentally going on in your head while y'all think? Concentration. Concentration. Mm -hmm. Because although it's a silly activity, you're still taking pride in what you're doing, right? Yeah. It's not just, okay, I'm doing it because my boss says so. I'm going to do it because there's an outcome with it. I'm going to use a fork so I can make a the sign. You got macadamia cookies? It look like an oven. Yeah, that's just that's a tray. That's right. It's <laughs> on fire. It's in the oven. It's hot. Tricky, and then just, that's when you put the, the dough, you gotta make sure it's two inch apart. So when it spreads, your cookie is warm. See, you know something. It's good. Okay. So now let's share. I'll go first. I have the world of a nut. It was inspired by my favorite teacher, myself. She's a nut. So we have a peanut, and then we have our purple haze. Because she's always... And then we got red streak of crazy. Oh. My nut art. Show the people. <laughs> Show the people. <laughs> Show the people. Who wants to share next? Mine's is... Watery mess. Some of it's probably gonna be gone, and you'll see the colors. Oh,